Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe and I'm your Zoom buddy as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live from isolation from my home office in my apartment and from the studios of ThinkTech Hawaii in downtown Honolulu. Today our topic of discussion will be on getting healthy as we grow up with the Tower Gardens and you'll get what I mean when you see it. The Tower Gardens, every lanai in Hawaii and the world should have one. What I would like you to take away from today's discussion is while we remain in isolation and being good stewards in our homes or when they lift the stay at home ban, we should all be thinking about how should we take our health back? Okay, we gotta think about that. So by growing at home and controlling everything possible to produce the best vegetables that we can start to take our health back, we have the solution for you. Join us with this hashtag Grow Not Flown movement and get involved with the I Love Localicious Hawaii campaigns. Today, we are very blessed to have a special young man. His name is Derek Chan, and he is from a co company called Tower It Up, a company that provides seedlings for those of you that want the perfect seedlings to successful growing. Tower It Up offers a variety of services from maintenance of your towers if you don't have time or if you're just a bit lazy call Derek and he'll come and assist you he'll guide you and as well as once you all are thinking of putting up a tower farm and you just don't know gee I don't know if I can take all that responsibility can somebody help me with that yes call tower it up and that would be Derek and he is has a wealth of knowledge for this young man and uh, he'll come to your home or to your farms and he'll assess what your situations are and he'll be right there Johnny on the spot so welcome, Derek. Thanks for uh, having me back on the show, Wendy. Oh yeah, it's our pleasure to have you here. And you know, Derek, I know you didn't go to school for ag or for farming. Where did your desire and your passion come from for planting and planting with the tower gardens? Well, just to kind of give everyone a little background on me, uh, I moved here to Hawaii about three years ago. And really when I came here, I just wanted to get a change of scene and you know learn how to surf and kind of everything else after that was just a bonus for me. But, uh, you know, I was lucky enough to be introduced to you through a mutual friend. And I remember uh, when I first met you, you know, you took me in and started uh, teaching me about health. And, you know, at first I was kind of a little confused about what was going on. And uh, you showed me the tower gardens and I was like, what is this thing? And, you know, I just saw a bunch of little cubes kind of lying around and <laughs> uh, you know, and then over time, you know, you kind of showed me what it was and I started to, to learn about it. And, um, you know, I was lucky enough that my mom was really health conscious and mm -hmm. she made sure that, you know, we ate our veggies and we were healthy and I didn't really get it growing up. But, you know, after I started, you know, learning from you, it just kind of all started to come together for me. Wow. I wish all young men and women were as brilliant as you are, Derek, that you understood and yeah, you know, growing up all mom, mom, mom and dad, right? But that you were able to put it together and realize the value of what you have in your hand because, because you were raised that way, it was kind of easy for you to make better decisions than starting from scratch, like myself. At 43 years old, I started eating healthier and I said bye-bye to the Spam and the Vienna sausage and you know the likes of that. But you were really blessed because you didn't even have that and you don't desire to have it because that wasn't part of your diet. Is that correct? Right. So you didn't grow up with Spam Musubis, right? I mean, you know, maybe now and then a little sneak it in there, but yeah, no. But pretty much my mom made sure that we stayed, stayed on the straight and narrow. Wow, how lucky you are and Mrs. Chan, bless you for doing such a great job. Your son is a, a, a magnet of health and wealth. And so we just enjoy working together because of that upbringing. So Derek, I wanna to talk to you about, you know, we're in isolation right now and people are calling you. I, I understand you're like busier than heck because people are realizing that they want what you have. They want, they wanna be healthy and they wanna understand how do, you, how do you grow and what do you, what, how do you do it all? So where does it all start, Derek? Uh, so it all starts with the seedlings. Um, okay. So I think we have a picture of the seedlings. So that was kind of the first, my first introduction into the tower gardens. I just started growing seedlings on my own and experimenting and I was failing a lot at first and my plants weren't growing and they were, you know, they look kind of flimsy and, and, and not so good, right? 
but you know, eventually I started to get the hang of it and uh, started to, to give seedlings to people and, and uh, giving away some of the, the stuff that I grew on the tower garden to people. And uh, over time, like I just saw that there was a demand, like people, people wanted this, right? They needed help starting seedlings because they were having some of the same troubles that I was having. Uh, so uh, eventually I thought, you know, this would be a great uh, business that I could use to help people and uh, you know, eventually wow. uh, make it to a full time job. And you know, Derek, you, you uh, spent a lot of hours on the lanai and then planting seeds. And I, I know you were talking to them, I could hear you out there. Yeah. And, um, and that's what it takes. You gotta love them because they're gonna give us health and nutrients that our body needs. But you really took a liking to these little seeds, you know, put a seed in the earth and watch it grow, as our good friend Stephen Ritz would always say. But you've done a, you've come a long way. I mean, we all started where you did, put a seed, and either they don't pop up, you get disappointed, you get discouraged, but you kept at it and you've perfected it. And you know, I wanna, I, I, I know that you gave us a, a slide and we wanna pull that up next. And I tell you, not only are your seedlings beautiful, but this head of Manoa lettuce, everybody on Facebook is raving about it because it not only is so beautiful, but I know it's full of all the right nutrients our body needs. So are you proud of that little baby there, Derek? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, it's it's hard to believe sometimes that just comes from those little seedlings and it grows full blown into that. But uh, that's how it starts, and that's kind of like a metaphor for a lot of things in life, right? You gotta. It all starts with a strong foundation. So for a plant, it all starts with a strong seedling. Um, you want to make sure that it's growing right from the start, and then from there it grows into a big, nice head of lettuce. Wow. I mean, that's no other than when I go to the market and I see, you know, I, I look at the, and I compare. In fact, you know, I even have one here, right? I told you I wanted one. And so look at that. That's like one, that thing is bigger than my head. I mean, Derek, you're like growing it so big. You got to get bigger bangs in. and check out the roots. You know, this root system is just beautiful. And I often, when you give this to me, Derek, I often think, oh my gosh, we should actually be able to cut the roots off and stir fry the roots because that's where all the nutrient is absorbed. So there must be something we can do with all those roots. Right. But, you know, it looks like um, it just looks like a beautiful bouquet. And one of my girlfriends, when you gave it to her, she says, oh, when I get married, that's going to be my bouquet. Can you imagine? Da, 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 da. I mean, walking down the aisle with this bouquet. Yeah, yeah with a bouquet. And, of lettuce. It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's edible. So that's the best part. You won't waste it. Right. Okay, so not only are you like uh, growing the best seedlings and the lettuce and you've perfected it, but I know that you want the keiki of Hawaii um, to be engaged with what you're doing. So tell me, what are some of the projects you're doing with your company Towered Up? Yeah, we do a lot of talks and demonstrations. We go around and we work with different nonprofits like the YMCA uh, or with different schools like Iolani or... Um, Oh, the Kamehameha School? Yeah, Kamehameha School. Oh, they're wonderful. Yeah, so that's that's our other, that's really our mission is to, um, you know, aside from providing seedlings and produce to people, is to really educate people about um, the foundations of good health, right? And the foundation of good health is putting quality food into your body. And that's what we have with the Tower Gardens. It's the food that we produce with the Tower Gardens is the best food that you can put into your body. Wow. You know, that is so fabulous. And I understand when a child is uh, actively involved with growing it and watching the, you know, the, the journey from seedling to sprout, you know, into the tower and then seeing it become this. I mean, this is intriguing. And unfortunately, a lot of the inner city kids don't have this experience. And so, you know, that we can bring these opportunities for them to see it and experience it and then taste it. And that's just the beginning for these kids. And this is what they're lacking in their diets, the fresh food that is the nutrients for our bodies. And so thank you, Derek, for having a passion for the keiki, as well as providing a need, the quality that you're providing and, and, and the level that you're playing at. So we're really, really proud of you. Yeah, and I know you. um, you've been blessed with the uh, endeavors and all the energies. And I know that we have some exciting news uh, that we brought to Hawaii. Yes. Um, I know that there was a contest that we participated in and um, we brought it home for the people of Hawaii. And so tell us a little bit about that opportunity that State Farm Insurance provided for us. 
Yeah, so last year around mid mid 2019, we actually entered a contest through State Farm to win a grant. And thanks to everyone out there who voted for us and supported our cause, we we won the grant from State Farm to build Hawaii's first uh, tower farm. So we're really, really excited, and really proud about that. So a lot of, a lot of good things uh, to come. Yeah, I mean, and that's a chunk of change. I mean, mahalo, mahalo to State Farm. And locally, you know, I've been a State Farm um, member all my driving life. So I partnered with the right company. Yes, I did. But then they rewarded us with this opportunity to put your project together um, where we bring in the kupuna and the keiki and we teach them how to grow. We're teaching them how to grow up and healthy. That's why this whole idea about growing up is so valuable to us because we're encouraging them that this is the direction we all want to go is up and how do we do that with the right nutrients and the right food that we're producing in the food that's coming off of the tower garden so i'm so excited that we have that opportunity but you know derek everyone's thinking oh, what the heck are they talking about this tower garden who's towered up what is it so i know we you you brought a little video with you and it'll show us basically how does a tower garden work and we have a cartoon uh, rendering so people can understand how simple the tower garden is. Alrighty. Tower Garden's state-of-the-art aeroponic vertical garden system uses both water and air to produce more colorful, better tasting, and incredibly nutritious fruits, vegetables, and herbs. Tower Garden has a 20-gallon reservoir at its base that stores the Tower Tonic Nutrient Solution. Developed by experts in plant and human nutrition, Tower Tonic Mineral Blend enables superior plant growth and better nutrition from your Tower Garden produce. The process begins once the seedlings have been placed in your Tower Garden. Here they will be nourished with Tower Tonic Nutrient Solution. Inside the reservoir is a small, low-wattage submersible pump the pump pushes the nutrient solution up through the tower to the top. From there, the nutrient solution drips through the central tower using a special device that evenly cascades the solution over the exposed plant roots. On the journey down the tower, the nutrient solution feeds the roots and becomes highly oxygenated as it cascades gently down the reservoir. This process is continuous, providing fresh oxygen, water, and nutrients to the roots of the plants. This patented aeroponic process enables food crops to grow faster than they would in soil, so they can be harvested more often. And it makes Tower Garden the healthier, easier, smarter way to grow your produce. Wow, <laughs> I want one. <laughs> and that's my thought exactly. When I first saw that video and I thought, my goodness, I mean, even somebody like me, I mean, I'm, I don't know about you, Derek, but I have never grown anything in my life. Um, if somebody would give me a pot of orchids, when the last flower would drop, I would toss it down the chute because it wouldn't grow. Nothing would grow with me. I kill everything and have no confidence in growing and actually really no desire to grow anything until, yeah, until well. we're introduced to the tower garden. And it made our lives so easy and made us full of confidence because like you said there, put the seed in the little rock wool, watch it grow. Two weeks later, we put it into the tower and then we have this three weeks later. I mean like, Derek, how easy, right? Yeah, oh yeah, it doesn't get any easier than this. <laughs> right. So I, I, can, I can relate. I had no background in gardening or growing anything. I, I think one time at my work, I killed, a, I managed to kill a cactus, so. <laughs> Yeah, so now go figure. Now I'm starting seedlings and growing lettuce and, and you know, becoming an urban farmer. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. Wow. You know, and it's so brilliant because, um, you know, I owned a chocolate factory. So the only thing brown in my nails were chocolate. And so now I, I'm growing and I still don't have anything brown in my nails. And I'm very excited about that. But, you know, um, I know that with the $25,000 that we were awarded, uh, we have chosen to work with a nonprofit, uh, one of the IHS pro uh, properties, and it's called Kaha Kahauiki Village. And um, the only hard work that I, I, I know we had to do, Derek, and we did some hard work. We sweated. 
oh, and we yeah. busted our butt, but we needed to make sure that the foundation, like you mentioned, was solid and right. And so the only hard work that we had to do basically for this tar farm, and we have picture, uh, we have a picture of this uh, where we actually worked with the dirt. Right, Derek? So tell us yep, a little bit have, about that. Yep. So we have evidence here that we, in <laughs> fact, got our got our uh, hands dirty and put some sweat equity into it. It was uh, it was a lot of hard work and digging out the weeds. But again, that's kind of a, it's a good metaphor for, for just life and improving, wanting to improve yourself, whether it's your health, um, just taking out the weeds and removing all the old bad habits and, and bad information and making way for, for new group, new growth, which is what we're doing with this tower farm is wow. taking, out the, taking out the weeds. And so now the next step is to lay down uh, the foundation for our farm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's so valuable. And, you know, like for you coming from you and you at a very young age learning and seeing, you know, visually seeing life right there, you know, like you said, putting on the best foundation so that we can have the best, farm you know from the very get-go and basically what you were doing were uh, we were just clearing away the weeds like you said flattening the earth and then now we're going to create a box right um so it, like a growing pad yeah. and um that would be so wonderful that the tar gardens can go on to the growing pad of gravel or whatever choice we decide on and that we can make sure the main thing is that we can shimmy it so it's lays a level and that's the most important part about the tar garden is that it lays level, you know, so the water has even flow up. If it's at an angle, one side has more water <clears throat> dripping than the other. And that's not the best situation for the tower farm. So okay. one step at a time, Derek, one and it's popping up. Yeah, it's, yeah. Taken, it's taken some time, but, you know, we had to. We had to do it right, right? There was a lot of right. components to make sure that we had get this. this Derek. Right. <laughs> we had COVID. And so we, we had the COVID. With COVID. We yeah. went and we were six feet apart and we dug right. and we, we had, didn't we kept, smell each other's sweat. Nope. <laughs> we kept our distance. We kept our distance. So, so the, the, the most important thing is that uh, the base work is done. I mean, I know that we travel to many different tower garden farms to look, see how easy or how difficult this whole thing was. And we yes. stumbled apart, uh, upon a couple universities in California. And the next slide will show us uh, one of the university properties. And maybe you should share a little bit about this, Derek. Right, so this was at the UCLA campus on the rooftop. So this tower farm grows enough produce to, to feed the students in the cafeteria, which is literally 10 feet away. So those students, they're getting the best produce possible, right? I mean most food travels thousands of miles to get to the final destination and here with the tower farms what they allow us to do is i like to call it hyper local farming so even better than local farming mm -hmm. is hyper local the food doesn't even travel one mile before it gets to its final destination so here at ucla i mean these these kids are getting the best of the best quality food um, wow. and that's what we want to provide for the people of hawaii with our tower farm is wow. we're going to be right in the middle of Honolulu and it's not it's not going to travel even five miles by the time that it gets to the people that end up eating it. Wow. And you know the other part too Derek like you mentioned you know less hands would have touched the food. It's going to be your hand and your hand alone picking Correct. it and then putting it into a bag or to a container and off it'll go either to the restaurants or to the stores and the next person who touches it will be grabbing a bag with their lettuce in it. So again, COVID or no COVID, that matters because our hands will be clean and it will be in the bag and no one else should touch your food. And that's, that's, that's very right. important. Yeah, I think I heard that on average, the uh, produce that you buy at the grocery store is touched on average 11 times before it mm -hmm. just gets to the store. And then you have everyone who goes into the store and touches your food and <laughs> picks up the lettuce, puts it back down. So you can just imagine how many people have touched it. But again, like you said, with our tower farm, we know exactly who's touching it. And it's, it's me and just me. So. Wow. That's exciting. I mean, every step of the way makes a lot of sense. And, you know, I know that you mentioned the tower garden itself is made of food grade plastic and it's not made with PVC. 
So there's no real toxins that would float around in the water into the plants, into our bodies. So that's a main component. Uh, I know you also mentioned, if I'm correct, uh, it's ultraviolet protected twice. So that means this thing won't crack or chip in the heat uh, of Makaha or in the heat of a desert. So your tower gardens should last you a lifetime. Uh, as long as you maintain it, you wipe it down and you, you, you just show it a lot of love. So the system itself is so beautiful and simple. And I know when I watched the video, it has a, a drip system instead of, instead of a sprayer. When I, I know before in the past, when we use sprayers, the sprayers would get clogged with all the residue and you know the mineral buildup. And so using a drip system, um, we my towers I, I, sitting on my balcony for the last eight years never got stuck up. Right. <laughs> so, so all these little aspects just make for a perfect you know vehicle to grow great food. And, you know, you, you sp spoke of UCLA, and I know that um, Hawaii has always been a, a place where we want to just let it thrive. And uh, the, one of the good opportunities is that we get to work with the CIP, which is the Culinary Institute of the Pacific. And uh, they're very proactive there. The dean there is like he saw it in the mainland, and he came back. He says, I want this. And then we were introducing it to him. He says, oh, my gosh the heavens there is a heaven and my my dream has been answered and then what what happened after that Derek right so they they took a liking to the tower gardens they thought it was great and they still have one it's still there now and they they loved it so much that they decided to create a class just for it well it was called the farm to table and we we were there me and you to to help out with that class and show people how they can literally go from seed to growing the produce to cooking with it. So right, that's, okay. and that's so empowering to be able to literally go from seed to your table and be able to control the entire cycle of, of where your food comes from. I mean, it doesn't right, get right. any better than that. You know, and in that slide, you see um, the tar garden in the kitchen and with the students around it. So yes, they did go about and they clipped most of the, the veg. And you know, it reminded me so much of when I had my very excellent meal at the French Laundry and the chef would go across the street <clears throat> and pick from the farm all the little gourmet, little you know, uh, tender seeds um, or berries or shoots and he put it in his basket and he come. And of course it costed, a, an, it costed us an arm and a leg, but worth every bit of it. So everybody here in Hawaii can get that farm to table right on their balcony and it's just so simple and that's what it intrigued me a lot is when i did experience um the french laundry cuisine and so as i said i have that every morning for the last eight years derek fresh kale smoothies five minutes old into my body it is the ultimate best uh, i couldn't ask for anything further right. so i'm excited that we are going to continue the journey with the kcc culinary um institute of the pacific and uh the best is yet to come with them we're very wise to have figured it out and uh we're just excited yeah just excited. and i also want to add to in the picture um i don't know if it's still up but it, there was grow lights so for anyone who doesn't have a lanai doesn't have a backyard and thinks that they can't grow they well now they can right these new led lights are are great the lettuce and the herbs and you can even do tomatoes and cucumbers and other fruiting crops inside uh, if you really wanted to as well so this eliminates the excuse for for not being able to grow on your own everyone can can grow wow exciting and you know um derek i, I remember when i we posted that slide of the groundbreaking at the kahuiki village somebody was very inspired and this is what it's all about. If we can inspire someone to want to be healthier and want to grow, then we have accomplished our mission. And this young man, he lives in Hilo. He lives in Hilo and he, he's actually the one-time one poster boy for muscular dystrophy. He was born and has never walked and he's on a wheelchair. And he has the desire to start a tower garden farm in their front yard in Hilo. And after they saw what we were doing there, he was so inspired and he said, mom, you got that check, right? You got that check in the mail from the from the president. Can we put it to good use? And so they invested it. And they now are going to be one of the first tower garden farms in Hilo, um, inspired by, by what we are doing here. And there was this idea came about only 10 days ago. It was dirt. It was raw dirt and weeds. And then they dug it up. And then the fa family 
invested in the cement. They poured their slab already. And they have like nine tower gardens, or is it eight right there? I think. I thought they had nine. Oh, they have nine. So they have nine tower gardens, and it's going to go, it's up already and uh, waiting for the seeds to get sprouted. And when it does, then the people on that island who are so deadly afraid of the rat lung worm, because it's just all over in Hilo and on that side of the island, it's just crazy wild and disgusting. But they're figuring out how they are allowing no rat lung worm into their little farm, into the, the food source that they're gonna create for the people there. So I'm so proud of you, Jax and um, Jessica and the family, their brothers. Um, so this would be one of the first special needs farms. He is on a wheelchair and he's determined to make this happen. Of course, with his family, his mom and his dad and his brothers, they're gonna help him to harvest the upper levels and he will be able to grow the seedlings and the lower ones that he can reach while on his wheelchair. So touche for you, uh, Jax, we're so proud of you and we're gonna watch you grow. So that's the kind of stories, Derek, you were inspired and by what, what you're doing, you know, creating all these different classes with the kids. If we can inspire one, we inspire Jax, we inspire one more, one more. That means one more healthy child, one more healthy family at a time. And if we have to do one at a time, that's exactly what we're going to do. Right, Derek? Right. Yeah, this is, I mean, that's exactly what we uh, what we got into this for is to is to inspire and to educate people and the fact that someone saw what we were doing and was inspired enough to put up a farm i mean they put that up in like what a few days, in a few days. Like and and it's already up i mean that's amazing that's that, amazing uh, we're, we're really reaching people and uh that really uh gives gives me a lot of hope and it keeps me going and uh is keeping me excited for for the future yeah, Derek, and you know what? I'm going to show up your lettuce again. This is Manoa lettuce, guys, with the roots. Derek, you should be very proud of yourself because you created this, and there's much more to come. This is just the beginning, and I'm really, really excited that people can, if they want it, just, you know, private message Derek on Tower It Up, and they can get this as well. And he's going to be right there hands-on to teach you and to provide you with seedlings. So don't be shy. Okay, I know everyone hasn't been, so this is really a good opportunity to want more and to have more. So for now, Hawaii, for now, Derek, mahalo for joining us. Mahalo for your inspiration and your diligence on wanting more for the people of Hawaii. Mahalo to you. And right. everybody, stay safe. All right, this is all going to pass, and we're all, we're all in it together. We're going to come out with flying colors because everything, there's a rainbow at every at every end of the rain, at every end of the storm. So just hang in there, guys. Aloha, everyone.